Hello everyone, Sigler here. So today I wanted to show you some of my um, macros that I'm actually using. Uh, some are like helpful and some are, yeah, just convenient ones. Um, I want to start showing you the one that I'm using for my Paladin that I've started to leveling on Wild Growth uh, US because I wanted to try Paladin and I also wanted to try some farms on Alliance and well, I also wanted to try phase one a little bit before phase one ends and to see like the differences uh, on them so the first macro i wanted to show you is uh, my uh, this macro here which is a a like very convenient add-on in my uh, well macro sorry in my opinion which makes it so like this is the first recommendation I used if you're a melee user is that you actually pretty much switch out all your uh, like abilities with uh, with uh, maybe I should lower the volume a bit there we go um, you actually switch out your uh, Mac uh, like abilities and make macros of them with the slash start attack which is gonna make it so let's see if I actually have one here um, let's do it like this let's remove it just so I can show you what happens so if I put it over here just for show and if I target it but if I use this a macro it's gonna like wanna start to attack so if I aggro it like imagine this one is like okay this one is on cooldown and like I can oh well like it, it's not gonna start attack but if i use the macro it, it's like okay let's say this one is on cooldown okay i have to start it again <laughs> that's an inconvenience um let's try on this wolf here uh let's say that I, this is i'm gonna just put it on cooldown now let's st stop attack if i spam this now it's not gonna attack it until I use an ability but let's say I use I'm gonna show you it's very nice um, if you don't have it on like if you're a rogue or well pretty much any melee user the one that I'm using here on my paladin for example is the I call it judgment but what I what it does is that it always starts with attack because like your melee is gonna be yeah like you can see it's my number one damage and every time you're not damaging it's like DPS loss obviously but with this macro it's gonna make it so like you're sure you're gonna need to refresh your seal of righteous but what this macro does is that it starts attack and after that it's gonna prioritize uh, judgment which I like because it's it's a little bit of range on it. Uh, how much range? Oh, crap. Okay. Let's actually make it again. Well, you can do it like this. Uh, you have this one, so it's like blinking like that. Then you go into the ability, shift click, and then it's there. But like what this macro uh, does is that it starts attack. Then it's gonna cast judgment. And when judgment, uh, when that ability is on cooldown, it's gonna prioritize the next one, which is Crusader Strike. So let's try this in action. First of all, you can see it's gray. That's because the first ability on it is judgment. And since we don't have any seals, we cannot use it. So if I would use it now, it would use the Crusader Strike. But let's just run up to this wolf here. We start it. First of all, it uses Judgment, and right after it uses the Crusader Strike. And I have keybinded it, so it's uh, scroll up where I use it. So that way it's I, like I'm always scrolling, because if you watch me for a while, you know that my out loot is scroll down, which is a setting you can do in keybindings and then in targeting. And here, interact with targets which is also another convenience thing that you can do. So I'm just gonna show this. Then all you need to do is refresh and then just spam. Usually I don't play with sound on, so I can turn it off. So let's see now, I scroll down 
See? It's skinning. And it looted first. But that's just one uh, add-on, well, macro that I actually enjoy to that I made now. I didn't actually I like I I love to try new kind of uh, all types of um, just like uh, uh, macros because they're convenient. So let's go in here. If I play a, a, a like a warlock or a hunter, well, like they use pets, uh, you can make an, a macro that is uh, slash attack the uh, pet attack, which kind of makes the the uh, the like normal attacks, which just starts attacking, which is very convenient because if you would play a warlock. Um, you can press this even if you're long range because then your imp or your succubus or void walker is gonna start going towards it because it's gonna it's gonna want to to attack it because you commanded it to and what i usually do is that like my opener which is curse of agony for example here um uh, like it's gonna cast that one and if i dot up another one it's gonna attack that one. So that's up to you what you wanna do, but that's usually what I do because uh, like I have multiple uh, ones that you can use. Like you, you can do what you prefer, but like when I was leveling, I was using this one. And then another tip that you can do is, for example, here it says cast Curse of Agony rank two, but if let's say I wanna rank one, then I just change it to one, for example. Because if you click on it, I'm going to show you. Um, let's make an example if I've learned. Okay, here we go. So let's say I uh, this is a completely new add-on, uh, macro. And if I press this one, it's going to slash cast Holy Light rank 1. If I press this one, it's going to be uh, cast Holy, Holy Light rank 2. But let's say that I don't want to. Um, let me see. Let's say that I want to, let's make a new one actually. Holy light, for example. I'm not gonna make any icons right now. But if I do it like this, and I want it to cast within like a start macro or whatever, it doesn't have to be holy light, but you, you know what I mean. Uh, if you just remove the rank part and save, it's gonna make the highest possible rank for you, no matter what. So. If you know that it is like a frost bolt or like anything that you always want to do a max rank, you can just remove the the uh, the thing where it's like inside and the rank one or rank two or whatever. So that's just another uh, thing that I like to do with the pet attack, for example. Then I have uh, this one, for example. This is was when I was leveling a my mage. And I was like a wee grinding. I don't. I don't remember what it was. It might have been like some Murlocs. But you can like. Um, if I would have had the small, Barkler, yeah, that one, the clam, in my bag, and I would shift click it, it would just say. Okay, never mind. Um, if I would have you, if I would have. Uh, well, uh, like it can sometimes if there is like an item that can be open, I think it might uh, be like this. So it says slash slash cast and then you have the clam. Then it's not going to work because you need to do a slash use to make sure because then you if you like for this example, if I'm using like the arcane explosion. um. It would like automatically open and see something like spamming scroll up and down it would be like i looting and then i continue when i continue to spam it's gonna open them all the time so i'm like i'm gonna, never gonna have any clamps they're gonna be open all the time so that's just another convenient thing that you can do next one i have um, i'm actually gonna relog re to my warlock real quick uh, just to show you this because it's very convenient It might take a little while Because I'm, I'm actually I actually want to show you this because it's it's very nice to have So let's see here uh, Let's change server we go to Crusader strike 
hopefully there's no queue and there wasn't so let's go to board clock and let me show you this macro because it's very nice i have it like it it's nice since i'm only using imp uh, this is very convenient so let me start by summoning an imp so i can show this to you let's go to macro and there we go so in the here for example it's gonna uh, this slash target bore clock it's gonna make it so it's gonna target me when i'm pressing the add-on because it's slash target and it's gonna target myself after that it's gonna cast the imps uh fire shield on me and then it's also going to cast the demon armor, which is just convenient. You can mix and match it how you want. But if I just press that one, the F1, which is my keybind for it, it's going to cast both of them. So you can see the fire shield and the demon armor, which is just convenient. Uh, for some reason right now, it says seven, but it might. Yeah. Uh, okay. It says seven here. But it's actually nine because of my spec, which is improved imp, which I enjoy. Um, we're going to move on to the next macro that I use. Um, well, that's just a slash shrug that you can do like this. Um, here we go. Here is another one that I actually very much enjoy to have on some keybind i don't know actually right now but with what this macro does it's gonna uh, if you play like a hunter or a warlock you can uh, do a mouse over macro for so if you have a mouse over a target and you press it it's gonna uh, attack that target so let's say that i'm fighting um let's say that this is the target that i'm attacking which is it's attacking now and the imp is just attacking it and i'm going mayhem on the the awesome shutterbolt if i hovering over this and i press the uh, macro it's gonna start attacking this one instead which is very nice uh, let's say that you have a void walker out or something like that it's it, it can be nice it's just a convenient add-on like the mouse over one you can do for pretty much anything most healers use it for like healing spells i personally don't like that but that's just up to you after that uh, we have the if you want to to for example show the i can actually show you this uh, let's do it like this we copy the hashtag show tooltip and if we put it before I think it's this one we do it this one and we save it's gonna say where is it there it actually says what and like the tooltip on the spell for example this is corruption for example so if you do the hashtag show tooltip it's gonna show the ability's name which I have on the one but if I remove it and save it's kind of just going to say the name of the macro, which I named Corruption. But, like I said, if you want to, for it to show, I don't really care that much. You can just make the show tooltip and then just go. But here, for example, on the Blood Fury, whenever I'm playing like my Shaman or whatever, I can actually log over to that one as well, just to show you this. <laughs> because you can do this macro on paladins as well with your bubble if you want to bubble and remove the bubble to like remove debuffs or uh, reset like uh yeah whatever you can do that by doing like this if we have the macro here on my shaman you said say it's uh, cancel aura which is the actual ability and then after it says cast blood fury racial which is the racial but if you have it the other way around it's always gonna want to start the actual ability but since you don't have an ability like if you already if you have this first it's it's only gonna spam it it doesn't gonna remove it so in this case it's like it's first gonna try to cancel aura 
but it doesn't have any, so it's going to cast it. But if I press it again, it will cancel it. Because the uh, reason why you want to do that is because you're actually reduces healing effect on you for by 50%. So if you're a tank, for example, you want to like um, do some damage, I guess, or whatever, like you can press it. And like once you feel like, oh God, I'm taking too much damage, you can press it again and it's going to be removed which is very nice. So if you're a paladin, you can bubble and then remove the bubble by pressing the same button. But make sure you don't spam it if you want, if you don't want it to be removed instantly. So keep that in mind. Then we have another add on here, which I can actually show you now when I'm logging out. So let's, let's make you, you want to make like a logout skip or whatever. You can actually do a slash camp because slash camp is actually like you're logging out, you're making like, well, I'm gonna camp here. So it's actually like you're logging out, which is convenient because some places you want to like jump from a specific like pole. And like you wanted to log out in the air, you can actually bind it to scroll, for example. So like you're jumping and then you're scrolling. So it's, you're gonna log out in the air. So that's like one convenient add on to, to have. Uh, here's a like I'm trying to make this work a little bit better it's like a charge uh, macro I'm still working on it uh, there might be some ma macros out there but I I like to try to find my own my own but here for example it's gonna uh, cast uh, blood rage and if blood rage is on cooldown it's gonna make the next one which which is overpower and after that is cleave and it's also gonna start attack automatically because start attack uh, doesn't really matter where it is so let's say you you like you're on a cleaving phase in as you're as a warrior you can just spam this and like if you want to you can remove the blood rage of course but uh, for convenience sake I put it there uh, it's just shield to have it there in my opinion and it's always gonna prioritize overpower so if you get an overpower proc it's gonna instantly make it so that's nice uh, I pretty much have like macros for everything with overpower just because I want it to be off cooldown instantly just to get the deep wound as well so here's another example for this the same thing as before on the agony I just like to have the pet attack because you're losing out so much if the pet is doesn't have, like if it's not attacking anything. Then we have the slash dance. You can have the slash disenchant, for example. You can slash cast and the disenchant, and then you can slash use the brown linen robe, for example. That is the uh, tailoring green. Let's say that you're a crafter of some material and you wanted to like disenchant it uh, or whatever like you there's an item that you always want to disenchant you can just spam this macro because it then is gonna uh, disenchant that macro that, that uh, item so let's say I have a lot of brown linen robe it's first gonna you need to be an, an, an enchanter obviously but uh, if you're an uh, enchanter and you want to disenchant the, for example, uh, brown linen robe, you can shift click on the item in the bag that you want to disenchant like this. Let's say I want to use like that. So let's use, and let's say this is a green item or well, this one actually. So uh, it's gonna say equip, but you can do like uh, there. And if I would have pressed it on my disenchant, it's gonna disenchant this item which is very convenient. It's just like you can spam it. Like you can sit here watching a movie and let's say that your full bag of stuff that you want to disenchant, you can just, well, like scroll anything. You can keep inviting and just sit there and watch the TV or whatever and just scroll like this or anything. It's, it's very nice. Moving on, we have, uh, this is a macro that I started to love uh, very much. I usually have a keybind to nine if you have the add-on called D junk, you really need this item, uh, this macro, because it's very nice. Because it's gonna destroy the grace in your 
bags because sometimes if you're farming all the gray stuff can be like taking up unnecessary space and let's say that they're you're losing time by going to a town and selling the gray trash rather than like let's say that you're earning more per hour by destroying the grace and keep farming the actual material this is very convenient because then you can uh you could actually key bind it to, to a an ability for example if the, like you don't you know that there's nothing that is gray here that is worth farming they can just make it like this then it's like automatically going to destroy the grace which is very nice uh Moving on, we have the, like, well, here we go again, like the slash target dig rat, for example, or the prairie dog, or whatever. I uh, did this for specific reasons, and uh, go figure why. I'm not gonna spoil that one, but, uh, heh, 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 money, money. Uh, moving on, here, for example, is another start attack macro on my shaman, which is slash cast earth shock because on a tank for example tank shaman you always want to melee hit so i'm like i can't express this enough make slash attack start attack macros you really need them it's like if you haven't done that before and you're standing there waiting for ability or pressing the t button you don't need to do this because then you can just spam which is very nice uh, here for example flame shock um here is an example for what i like to do on hunter which is that i made a hand rune which this is all the hand runes and also the serpents uh, lightning bolt and here is a macro they can use slash cast exclamation mark out to shoot which is gonna make it so if you spam this it's gonna well obviously use the either the the, the arcane shot, uh, explosive shot, and chimera shot, because the um, hunters doesn't have the slash start attack. Because if you have that, you're gonna want to. It's gonna wanting to start melee hat hitting, and you're a hunter, and you don't want to melee hit that much unless you're melee weaving. But I wouldn't use that then. But if you do like a exclamation mark out to shoot, it actually works. And yeah, like on the hand runes, it's just gonna, if I have explosive shot rune, it's gonna cast out one. But if I using chimera shot, it's gonna use that rune. So it's just convenient. And here, for example, we have the, like a haunt one, like slash cast haunt, slash cast in incinerate. You, you can mish and mash however you want and slash invite you can like let's say i want to invite uh this like some players here i can target them and like like invite people like this and obviously they're gonna decline sorry for spamming but like you can have that target people and just uh starting to invite but then you also have the mouse over macro which is gonna target what I have uh, uh, targeted with with the macro. So let's say I'm targeting this one. It's gonna start by targeting that one and then slash invite. See? It actually works. Sorry, making a macro video safe travels <clears throat> so <laughs> okay um so that's another macro that you can use like a mouse over one and moving on we have the the judgment one that we already shown on my paladin here we go the like for example uh, pet attack cast hunter's mark it's nice you can add, use you can remember you can remove the rank one and stuff like that this is going to be a very long video i just noticed but you you can see the point <laughs> point <laughs> slash point uh here is the one if you're farming a lot of let's say you're a mage booster and you wanted to whenever you're exiting the dungeon 
and you want to uh, if you want to reset the dungeon you can press this macro and it's gonna auto reset instead of right clicking and reset all instances which is just convenient in my opinion and here is my one of my favorite macros ever it's very long and complicated and I'm gonna uh, do in the description below I'm gonna do all the macros like the convenient ones like the slash invite uh, mouse over one de junk destroy and everything uh, so let let keep out keep an eye out for that but this macro what it does uh, it's not gonna work on this one because I'm max level. Um, so okay, it says no no rested. Let's go to my shaman and I'll show this one in action, which is very convenient. This is already a twenty six minute video. Holy crap! I am sorry. <laughs> so if you're watching this long, I appreciate it. And. Um, it's almost over guys so let's see here for example we used it it says it's called rested if I press it it's gonna says how much I'm rested in my XP bar which is so good it says how many bubbles and how much XP is left if I kill something this one is gonna go down so it's ooh, it's so nice to have I really like it Moving on, we have like target macros uh, for ones. Here's one, for example. Let's say I want to make a sequence macro, which is so. Let's say I want to ha have a specific rotation, for example. You can make it so uh, slash cast sequence, and the reset equals to is if you have like how many seconds it's gonna take for you, like if you want to reset the macro uh, from spamming. So if you're if you're spamming it and now for example it says two, if you stop spamming it, it's gonna reset after two seconds. So let's say I have like I want to have first lava lash and then molten blast and then flame shock and then uh, earth shock or whatever. It, you just press them. Oh, um, so let's see here. Let's say I want to cast a this one and then you have to make a not a dot but the other one like the, the this one and then you press like the next one and then you that one and you press this one for example i there might be have to be a space in between i'm not sure but if it doesn't work make a space space between and it's gonna work so if i would spam this now it's first gonna cast uh, earth shock rank three then lightning bolt rank three and then birch rank three and after that if there's nothing else it's gonna restart but if you start stop casting it stop stop pressing it it's gonna reset after two seconds so let's say you want a 10 seconds or whatever uh, you you change this number the number two one two whatever number you want so that's a nice one this is all for all the casters uh, that ha uses a wand. If you use this cast sequence, reset to exclamation mark shoot, and then you have a dot, I think. I'm gonna link it in the description below. And then you said no, you can spam the actual uh, shoot because if you don't have this macro and you spam shoot, it's gonna want to, uh, want to start wanding and then it's gonna stop, start, stop, start, stop. But with this one, it's never gonna stop, which is very nice because then you can just spam it and making sure that you're gonna hit with your wand, which is very nice. And moving on, you see I have a pet attack, uh, start attack, start attack, start attack, and with like, uh, with pretty much everything here you see the, the clam again where i'm farming start attack under armor and then the cast revenge start attack you, you can see that like, like that's all my my add-ons but uh, my macros but i can highly recommend that you start doing like the start attack pet attack and the shoot one and yeah meet your match um so this is a very long video but if you've stayed this long, 
I appreciate you and please leave a like comment subscribe and all that thing and if you want to want to see my blacksmithing investment check on this video over here and I hope to see you in the future in the next video or in this one Bork Bork 